Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is on cap dump. Uh, this is my brand new one I just got done building. Um, it's upside down, but this is uh, 1.3 frauds right here at 25 volts. And um, we got this thing hooked up to my oscillator right here. So we're running off this battery and then the output from this bad boy comes through the SSR, this is a 100 amp SSR, so solid state relay. And then it goes through this amp meter and then through here to this battery with the voltmeter. And then we'll be able to see um, how it's dumping, what voltage. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with this kind of setup, um, the oscillator, when it's pulsing, um, we're using 12 volts in the oscillator, uh, puts out anywhere from 200 to 400 volts. And that high voltage gets diverted from the circuit put into this and um, this basically condenses those high voltage and amperage and then when it gets to a pre-selected voltage like right now this is, has a 13 volt zinger and it'll be triggering about 14 and a half so once it gets to that level it dumps and then it resets and then dumps and um, there's a good way to, to convert the kind of static energy radiant energy whatever you want to call it um, from the oscillator or from the pulse motor this is the only thing that's going to convert it back to regular amperage. So I'm going to fire this up and uh, you guys could take a look. So um, this is a little circuit that I built that pulses this properly. Uh, if any of you guys are interested in just this part, um, let me know in the comments. Otherwise this whole unit is for sale um, right here at my website. Um, like I said, if you want just this circuit, just leave it in the comments. So let's fire this up. So the oscillator is on, and here's our voltage. So we're right there, 14.38. So here's our amperage. So just over 10 amps is our battery. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shut this off, and um, I'm going to switch this out. So this has all these different settings so right now we're on 13 so we'll take out this 13 volt zinger and um, we're going to put in this 20 volt right here so this is going to give us a lot more amperage in it but it takes more time to charge because the voltage is higher but um, I have on here all these different ones so we have 13 volt 15 volt 18 volt 20 and 22 when you get to 22 um, it's right at the edge you're about 24 volts in this 25 volt capacitor at 75 amps so right now we're just going to use the 20 because I only have a 50 amp uh, meter right there so let's fire this up So you can see the voltage climbing and it goes all the way over to, to 50 amps. So let's take a look. It takes quite a bit longer to charge obviously, but this is set up for a bigger oscillator or a big motor. And um, yeah, that's a lot of power coming out of there. So you got 50 amps triggering at um, about 22 volts. So 21. 21.5 or so so that's a lot of juice coming out of there and um, this oscillator is only using 1.5 1.6 amps so um, charges up pretty fast for just that little amount of input but um, it's nice because if you want it to charge faster you could just put lower zingers in it um, for a smaller motor or whatever but if you have you know one of these that's you know twice as big has like 10 circuits on it or something like that um, you'll be charging this up, you know, three to four seconds at 50 amp discharges. So, yeah, pretty neat, pretty beefy. So, this thing's through bolted all the way to the bottom. And um, this is all marine grade starboard. And then, obviously, SSR with the heat sink. Um, you have diodes right here to kind of keep it uh, from back charging the battery when it's off. And then, these are quarter inch studs 
right here for connections and then you got um, yellow and white for the input of all the motors um, all my stuff is color coded you know red and black is usually input yellow and white is output for a cap dump or for battery charging that's why there's yellow leads over here but um, yeah this will come with these wires and then it'll just be the studs there and you can put whatever you want on that side and um, this little light flashes here every, when it fires and um, yep so pretty pretty cool anyway thanks for watching guys